Bismillah Rahman Rahim. The cumulative distribution function CDF of the random variable y is fy of y is equal to uh, 0 uh, when y is less than or equal to 0, y over 4 when y is between um, 0 and 4, and is 1 when y is greater than 4. Sketch the CDF of y, CDF of y, and calculate the following probabilities. Part A probability that y is less than or equal to minus 1. Part B probability that y is less than or equal to 1. Part C probability that uh, y is greater than 2 and less than or equal to 2, uh, less than or equal to 3. And part D probability that y is greater than 1.5. So uh, uh, let's first uh, sketch the CDF. So from this uh, from this uh, uh, function from this uh, CDF, we can see that uh, there are three intervals: y less than uh, zero, uh, y greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to four, and y uh, greater than four. Moreover, we see that uh, uh, in here uh, between uh, this interval, uh, this uh, is a continuous. So this is the CDF of a continuous uh, random variable. So this isn't a fixed value, this is the varying value which is continuous. So uh, this is the CDF of a continuous random variable. So let's first plot it. Uh, let this be y and this be fy of y, right? And uh, uh, we see that it is 0 for y less than 0. So it is, if this is 0, then this is 0 here, right? And then uh, between 0 and 4, so this is 0, then this is 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, and so on. So between 0 and 4, right? This takes on this value, y over 4. So it means that at 1, it is 1 over 4, at 2 it is 2 over 4, at 3 is equal to 3 over 4, and at 4 it is 4 over 4, which is 1. So at, uh, so let this be 1 over 4, then 2 over 4, then 3 over 4, then 4 over 4. So this is uh, 1 over 4, 2 over 4, 3 over 4, and let this be 1. So uh, here it is uh, 1 over 4, then it is uh, 2 over 4, then here it is 3 over 4, and here it is 1. So it's like a straight line here, right? And for y greater than 4, this is always 1, this remains 1. So this is the sketch of uh, the given CDF. So, uh, from the plot also we see that this is the CDF of a continuous random variable. So, y is a continuous random variable. Now, part A, we need to find that probability that y is less than or equal to minus 1. So, according to the definition of the uh, CDF, uh, for example, if uh, we have this CDF f y of y, this is equal to probability that random variable y is less than or equal to a value y. So it is this kind of probability here. So it means that the probability of this random variable y at uh, that is it is less than or equal to minus 1 is equal to the value of the CDF at this point minus 1. So we can write that probability that y is less than or equal to minus 1 is equal to f y at minus 1 and at minus 1 we see that it is 0 so it is 0 at this value right so part b probability that y is less than or equal to 1 so again this probability probability that y is less than or equal to 1 by this definition is given by the value of the cdf at 1 and we see that at 1 this is 1 over 4 right so uh, 
the part B is a solved, then part C. Part C, probability that y is greater than 2 and less than or equal to 3. So we know that uh, 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 the probability uh, uh, or that a random variable y for example is uh, greater than y1 and less than or equal to y2 is equal to the value of the CDF at uh, uh, y2 minus the minus the value of the CDF at y1 right so uh, using uh, uh, this definition we can find out the values of uh, uh, fy of y and 2 and 3 and then use this formula to find out the probability uh, at this interval so probability that uh, y is greater than 2 and less than or equal to 3 is equal to the value of the CDF at 3 minus the value of the CDF at 2 right so uh, y greater than 2 less than or equal to 3 so at 3 we see that the value is 3 over 4 and uh, at 2 the value is uh, 2 over 4 right minus 2 over 4 so this is 1 over 4 so now part D probability that y is greater than 1.5 right so probability that y is greater than 5 uh, is given by probability that y is greater than 1.5 5 plus the probability that y is less than or equal to uh, 1.5 should be equal to 1. So it could be either greater than 1.5 or it could be less than or equal to 5. The, the, these are mutually exclusive and the probability should be equal to 1. So it means that probability that y is greater than 1.5 is equal to 1 minus this. So probability that y is greater than 1.5 is equal to 1 minus probability that uh, y is less than or equal to 1.5 right and uh, this we can find uh, by and this is equal to 1 minus uh, the value of the CDF at 1.5 right so uh, uh, and we and we see that at, at 1.5 the value is given by 1.5 over 4 y over 4 when y is 1.5, so this value of the CDF is 1.5 over 4. So this is equal to 1 minus 1.5 over 4, right? And this is equal to 1 minus 15 over 40. We can write it like that, 15 over 40, right? So that means 40 over 40 minus, uh, 40 over 40 minus 15 over 40. So that is 25 over 40. So that is 20. 5 over 40 and if we simplify that so that is 5 into 5 is 25 and 5 into 8 is uh, uh, 40 so that is 5 over 8 so probability probability that y is greater than 1.5 is equal to 5 over 8 so this concludes the solution to this problem